so we'll start uh hello guys thank you very much for joining in hi this is ganesh naik we're going to be talking about a quick interview with one of my student which is shobit jain he has been able to clear frm level 2 okay for uh, the may 2023 attempt so he he's going to be talking about his journey of preparation what challenges he faced and how he was able to manage the overall preparation period so let us start with the discussion shobit thank you very much for joining and giving us time with respect to the discussion and if you can give a brief with respect to when did you started your level 2 when did you clear your level 1 and the overall experience that you have yeah thank you vinesh uh, so my overall experience is like 14 years it has is mostly been on the risk side uh, ideally mm-hmm. like first 13 years were in wholesale credit risk and for the past one year i've been getting involved on areas like non traded market risk and counter party credit risk and uh, i started my frm journey last year and i did my level 1 in november 2022 and after okay. that i immediately when i got the result i started preparing for level 2 and uh, it, i gave it in may 2023 okay so for the benefit of the audience uh, so shobhit had taken for both level 1 level 2 my question bank not the videos he was preparing on his own and just solving the question bank so so the result came out for level 1 uh, in january so you started for level 2 before that itself no after the result came out okay so and yeah. which book you were reading what was the order of preparation so i was reading special only for both level 1 and level 2 and uh, my sort of uh, preparation framework was something that has been suggested by you right that you first go through the book once do the first reading mm-hmm. then uh, do take the uh, then i took the question bank then i gave okay. like did book by book reading as well as the same time i was solving the question banks solving like okay uh, and i sort of followed the pattern that was suggested by you like do market we do market risk first and invest, investment banking first and then sort of mm-hmm. next is uh, operational risk and the, the boring ones <laughs> to be honest yes in the, yes in the meantime right so that that is something that i followed Yeah. After mm-hmm. I was done with that, then I started do revision and uh, giving mock exam. So that is okay. how I sort of. Okay. So when did you complete your first reading of the content of Swager? So I actually started a bit late for FRM two, like uh, not immediately mm-hmm. after I got the results. So I like started in uh, mid January or late January. So I completed my first reading by seven. By that I was okay. done with the. and then you joined us for question bank and you started solving the question bank immediately yeah i what i used to do was i used to go i started going through the books again and at the same like i did one chapter i solved the question bank for that chapter then the next chapter this way i used to do it so like i solved it for the entire book then i moved on to the next one yeah. okay okay and when did you complete your fun full reading of the uh, chapter wise question full overall it took me like around one and a half two months to complete all of that like so by okay. mid april yeah by that time mid april okay perfect and by that time uh, you had a uh, complete grip of the content or uh, you had to read once again to understand okay to match things to be honest uh, i never felt that i had complete grip on the entire <laughs> content <laughs> so yeah i had to reread it a uh, few times like when i was i did my mock uh, the first mock and i didn't score that well so i thought that i need to start uh, doing the revision again so and then i did a uh, few more revisions after that until the end i was actually revising the syllabus okay 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 and with respect to uh, the mock papers how many mock papers you solved so i solved i think two uh from uh intelligence and uh, mm-hmm. two uh, the ones that uh, gaap provides two sample papers i got okay okay and at the overall level what was the average score you were getting from the mock papers so the, yeah so for the first one that i solved of intelligence i think the score was around 48 so i was not happy with it okay so i thought that uh, i need to uh, prepare more and then again went back to the board and start preparing and in subsequent ones it was like mid 50s and in one uh, i think sam- sample paper one for gap i got around 60 for that one. oh wow okay okay 
and when you went to the exam the actual exam date uh, what happened in that first one hour was it very heavy in terms of the uh, question was it very really easy uh to be honest i found this time frm level 2 to be easier than level 1 when i started solving it uh, uh, it was okay like i was able to do like more than half the questions in one hour like uh, almost half the questions in in an hour wow so i was going through a rapid pace while solving the question i completed Perfect. the entire questions in uh, two and a half hours to be honest and then i sort of went through the ones where i had doubts so i uh, follow that same strategy that you suggested right? that you keep on marking the ones that you are sure of not not sure of where you are doubtful mm-hmm. and the ones that you are completely have no clue so i used to do that sort of uh, marking for questions and then i went back okay. to the question so i yeah i solved the ones that i would i had no clue of in the first reading i solved those first and then i went mm-hmm. back to the ones where i had little doubt and revisited them so i utilized that one and a half hours uh, like that okay got it and then uh, i don't know uh, the uh, exam uh, section how many theory and how many calculations you got in your exam roughly uh, it, it would be around like 25 around 25 calculation questions rest were theory and those calculations were easy to man- manageable yeah yes yeah. so the calculations some of them were easy if you know the concept you know how to solve it so then it is easy like there were couple of questions where i was not able to pick up the right concept from the beginning so they give they give they gave a lot of extra information which was actually not required to solve the question so i got confused so i remember one mm. particular question it took me like 10 minutes so given that i had oh. some other extra time so <laughs> i utilized that time to get that question so ultimately i was able to get the right answer for that one so i was quite happy <laughs> that i was able to get it okay yeah. okay uh, most, most and theory theory was and theory was uh, lengthy by any chance theory was not that lengthy yeah, it was not that lengthy they were confusing like the option sound similar you feel that this could also be right this could also be right then you have to think about the exact context of the question so those those sort okay. of things are there but it wasn't particularly lengthy okay Got it, got it. And when you came out of the exam, you had any number in mind? Do I get this much exam? No specific number in mind, uh, but yeah, I thought that it has went well. Uh, I was more confident this time around compared to the last uh, level one. So that was definitely the feeling that I came out of. But yeah, no specific number in mind, like what the score would be. But yeah, I was quite ten okay. confident that it has went well. So hopefully, I'll. And did you accept expected one 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 in all the books? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that you can never be sure of, right? So because okay. the exam pattern is like that, that at times you are not sure whether this option is also correct, the other could also be correct. So yeah, but yeah, so it was a good outcome. Definitely. Wonderful, wonderful. And now uh, when the results are out, what has been the reaction of people around you? Because people have seen you for. Doing this for at least one year now, level two, level one. So, what has been the reaction, people? Yeah, it has. It has been quite positive. Uh, my manager is also happy <laughs> that I got such a, a good result. My family members are also happy because I devoted a lot of time, in fact, uh, uh, to FRM, and I have a mm-hmm. young kid, and uh, my wife she was bearing the load. of uh, parental duties so that's why i think it it was a positive outcome and everyone yeah. okay and now if i ask you uh, two final questions the first one is how level 2 was different than level 1 in terms of differences i think level 2 level 1 is more quantitative that is something i definitely felt level 2 uh, is more lengthy there is lot of theory in it so that is definitely there uh, mm-hmm. but yeah level 1 actually was some subjects were quite new to me as well although i might have read them uh, when i was studying but since for the mm-hmm. past like for 13 years 14 years i have been working on one specific area so yeah so that's in that way uh, some of those concepts were quite new to me or i was reading them after a very long time but once okay. i did level 1 i think level 2 was easier in terms of understanding things 
but yeah it's just that the sheer syllabus is so much that you have so to do a lot of time so, yeah okay okay and if if you can give three tips from your side uh, how to prepare for frm level 2 yeah uh, one thing i would definitely say start early uh, because as i said that the course is quite lengthy so you need to uh, do a lot of reading and at times even that there are five or almost six different type of books right so you need to mm-hmm. remember a lot of it or understand a lot of it so it takes a lot of reading to do that like if if i say i must have completed like five times i read the book at least five times so in that way it is good if you can start early and grasp those concepts so yeah that is okay. definitely one tip uh, the other one would be like uh, to follow a structured studying pattern that mm-hmm. uh, like read the read the book give an initial reading get the feel of the book try to understand where your weak areas are then go through the question bank solve it one by one by self solving the question bank focus on the solution or the questions that you got wrong and again uh, also the third one would be like focus on the mock exams and uh, because i thought this time around definitely the sample papers which were provided by frm they were quite relevant they had a lot of cva related questions and that was in okay. uh, those questions were those similar sort of questions were there in my exam as well so yeah so okay. uh uh question sample question start early and <laughs> give mm. thorough readings of the book yeah those wonderful my- wonderful perfect i mean thank you thank you very much shobhit for taking out time and talking to us and giving a sneak peek on your journey of preparing for the exam and how you were able to manage things and like you said for level 2 also you were able to complete one reading in one month full entire reading then two months you were able to almost two to one half months you were able to complete the solving with and the, all of this along with job right so that is what a good point uh, about our conversation and people who are working they by looking at this interview they can also uh, i understand that they are, it is manageable if they dedicate their time properly if they are disciplined enough then it is manageable so thank you very much shobhit for talk, talking to us and giving an idea about how the actual uh, exam went for you thank you very much you're welcome thanks